Good afternoon, everyone. Doo -doo. How was everyone's last few days? Hopefully, your last few days were good. My last few days were a boiling lava hot. <laughs> Re remember how the last day we streamed it was boiling lava hot? Well, it was hotter the last two days. It's actually, uh, I think today might be the hottest day. Not 100%, because I don't know what the temperature is going to be tomorrow. But I know it's hotter today than it was yesterday. And yesterday was hotter than the last day we streamed. <laughs> so, it has been very hot. I hope everyone is taking plenty of breaks and staying hydrated. Whether, uh, whether you're being hit with a heat wave right now or not, it's important to hydrate. It's been chocolate chip melting hot for the last week. Yep. Yep. Actually... You know, I always hear jokes about cooking an egg on the sidewalk. I've never actually tried it. I wonder if you could cook an egg on the sidewalk yesterday. Because, like, it wasn't just hot. It was bright and sunny, not a single cloud in the sky kind of hot. Uh, today, it's a little bit cloudy this afternoon, so that might help the house a little bit. You need a black or dark Skittle. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, that's um, it's kind of reminiscent of when I was younger. You know, when you're in like elementary school and they want you to do little basic science type projects, little experiments. Uh, the one that I did was showing how different colored surfaces react differently to light and heating up. So... There was three cans, and one of them had been painted white, and one of them I had painted black, and the other one was just a metal, like, tin, reflective metal can. And they all had a light on them, and the experiment was to show how each can would heat up differently. It was neat. A cool little, like, when you're young science experiment. <laughs> If you have a car, you can bake cookies in it if you close the doors and windows. Yeah, probably. Yep. I think that could probably be done today, especially in my car, because it's black. And the interior is also black. <laughs> Only ones that are around 120 to 170. I mean, I wonder if it would work, though, if you just gave them longer. If they weren't, you know, low temperature bake cookies. Maybe you just give them longer and they would cook, you know? Let me just double check. I'm, I'm pretty sure I set us up to be ready to go when we left last time. Yeah, we should be good. Let's make sure, make sure I've got the proper Pokemon on our overlay here. Yes. I've been trying to pay better attention to that. <laughs> All right. So, since it is still boiling lava hot today. Like, I think it's the hottest day today, like I said. We're, uh... We're probably not gonna be doing, like, a super long, in-depth, we're gonna go beat the gym stream. But we'll at least finish up the little mini-quest we started here with Lynette. Her house is over here. We'll finish up that. And we'll try to get through Meteor Falls, which, while I'm thinking about it, um... We're going to need some repels. And you might ask, why are we going to need some repels? Uh, because there is a room in the back of the cave that we're not going to be able to get to until later. That spawns Bagon. And I want to try and get Bagon. So, we will be going through the cave with a repel on the entire time. Because the goal is to catch Bagon. And not... Uh, what do we get in this game? Lunatone, I think? In Pokemon Sapphire? I want a Bagon. I want Salamence. So that is the goal. We're gonna try hard. Yeah, I don't remember. I just know I was looking it up 
earlier, and I was like, okay, so this is the place where we can get Bagon, but we can only get Bagon in this very specific room, and we can't get to that room until we have, I believe, both Surf and Waterfall to get back there. So... We're gonna try, and hopefully we get it, because it's basically 50-50. They both have the same spawn rate, and it's either going to be Lunatone or Bagon. There is no place to get either one of them other than in Meteor Falls, so we can't do anything to increase our odds. We can't even try to, like, use repels to increase our odds like we could in other areas because the bagons are actually significantly lower leveled than the lunatones that spawn in the room so we just have to hope <laughs> good luck us oh meza i'm sorry everything is so cluttered when i get engrossed in research things end up this way this is embarrassing please keep this a secret in exchange for this We've been bribed with a low tad doll. This is acceptable. I offer advice about my Pokemon storage system. You should organize your boxes so you can tell which Pokemon are in them. Oh, don't worry, Lynette. We, uh... We don't have very many Pokemon, so that won't be an issue. Lynette's research note. There's information about boxes. Design boxes to hold 30 Pokemon each. Each trainer should be able to store 420 nice Pokemon in their PC system. Keep reading? Sure. A marking system should be added to make Pokemon easier to organize. The name and wallpaper design of each box will be made changeable to please the stored Pokemon. Aww. Keep reading? Sure. When storing a Pokemon, it should be sent to the box inspected last. If that box is full, the received Pokemon is stored in the next box. In other words, when a box is examined, it is automatically selected as the box to which Pokemon are sent. Now you know all about the Pokemon storage system. Congratulations. Who are you? I'm gathering berries so I can win in a Pokemon contest. If you'd like, I'd share one with you. Sure. Oh, more raspberries. I mean, that's cool. Uh, we still have to go get our other... Um, berries. I keep forgetting. They're over in the other town. Area thing. So this is going to be a double battle. Yeah, Bolton's exam. That's probably a fine combination. It'll probably be fine. We'll be fine. Who taught you about Pokemon? Uh, me, myself, and I think technically I had Pokemon cards before I had games. I'm not sure Pokemon cards really taught me a whole lot, though. I think I learned more from the games. And then I went to Earl's Pokemon Academy. Did you know you can do that? You can go to Earl's Pokemon Academy. I went to Earl's Pokemon Academy. Uh, <laughs> so I really am an ace trainer. I know my stuff, except it's been a really long time, so I don't remember a lot of it. <laughs> you learn a lot, though. There's, uh, there's all kinds of, like, secret info that the game doesn't tell you. Like, that you can use Defense Curl to, uh, make Rollout do more damage, and things like that. If you want to go to Earl's Pokémon Academy, you'll have to get a Nintendo 64 and get Pokémon Stadium. That's how you go to Earl's Pokémon Academy. I think it was Pokémon Stadium. It might have been Pokémon Stadium 2. Just get both of them. They're fun. <laughs> They're really fun. There's a, there's a cool little section where you can play minigames and stuff, too. And I really liked the Lickitung one. The Lickitung one was great. There's like, there's a... 
It's like a buffet, like an automated buffet, if you've ever seen the ones in, like, Japan. Um, where they have a, uh... What are those things called? Like, a belt? The... Anyway. It... It's a belt. It's an automated belt, and it, like, rotates with food on it. Um... And... You use lickitungs to eat the food off the belt, and different foods are worth different amounts of points, and it's really fun. Yeah, conveyor belt! Sam's got it! <laughs> it's super fun. There's like, it's, uh, I think they're all sushi meals. And it's, uh, it's super cool. It's super cool. It's super fun. Highly recommend. And if you want to uh, hasten along your development of Carpal Tunnel, go play the Pikachu Voltage game. <laughs> Where uh, the entire goal of the game is to spam the A or B button as fast as you can. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah! See, Sam knows. Sam knows what I'm talking about. Got the conveyor belts in the restaurants, and you take the food you want off of it. And, like, it keeps track. There's a little, like, tab thing. It keeps track. And when you're done, you pay for it, for what you ate. It's actually really neat. Yeah. Sam gets it. Did you know they have, uh, fully automated restaurants, too? Like, that literally, there's no people in them. There's actually no people. The entire restaurant is run by just automated machines. And like, you go up to a panel and you order your food. And the machines in the back make your food and send it to you through like, uh, tubes. It's neat. They've got all kinds of cool stuff going on. Not Goomba's probably safest bet. Yeah, I like human chefs, I do. I, th I think it's cool, though. I do think it's really cool. I keep trying to have Bolt in front and, like... I feel like having Bolt in front is just really not working out well for us. I have to keep switching Bolt. Poor Bolt, just weak to everything. Yeah, this is fine to smash. We already caught a thing here. Protein! That's for Umbreon. Phoenix. Use. There you go. What's this do? Speed? We'll sell that. Bolt is the teen of the team, keeps getting grounded because of trouble. Yep. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. Okay, we uh, we already know this is this is probably going to be a fight for not Goomba. If you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. You're not a guitarist? Oh no. Mistakes have been made. Kindler. That's not a guitarist. That is not a guitarist. <laughs> oh no! It's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. We have Zoomer upped. <laughs> the one time Bolt was a good lead. Yep. <laughs> Oops. He had the cool hair! I thought he was a guitarist! Wingle. I thought we were doing good. I thought we were gonna be countering a Magnemite. Magnitude is super cool. I agree. 
Ever since you were a kid, loved seeing Magnitude 10 make the screen go wild. Yep. Magnitude's a fun move. Okay, so this is a camper. This is a camper. It's probably a good idea to keep not Goomba in. I don't want to bring in Zoomer up because it's risky. If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. Don't worry! We're prepared. We have a team with a high amount of variety so that we can do good against anything. This is a Nuzlocke, and we came prepared. I think Not Goomba is going to make it onto our team in the Elite Four. <laughs> like, on a serious note, everywhere we go, <laughs> it's always Not Goomba. It's just always not Goomba. Not Goomba knows no weakness, except for Bernie boys. <laughs> not Goomba's just like, fam, I got this. Every time. Our next gym is going to be the first gym that Not Goomba will not be our MVP. Can you believe it? Can you believe that we're going to have our first gym where Not Goomba isn't just wiping the floor with the entire opponent's team? <laughs> Poor Not Goomba is just gonna be hanging out in the box, warming the bench for the first time. I'll be taking a well-deserved rest. Yup. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So first things first. I'm pretty sure we don't need to go so far as to have Cumulus be the one in front. But I'd rather be overcautious. There's nothing in that? Okay. We're going to do our best to go straight through. You don't mean not, not Goomba. It gets confusing when the first letter is not, huh? Our first word. With this meteorite, Mount Chimney will gasp, huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Aqua, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Aqua! We, Team Magma, won't allow you to get away with your misdeeds. Yes! Even Team Magma joins us! But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite. So off to Mount Chimney we go. Ha ha ha! Be seeing you, you D Team Magma dingbats! Hey! You be nice! And you are... Da 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 da! I'm Mezurumi. Or Meza. So you are Meza. I am Maxi. As the head of Team Magma, I have dedicated myself to thwarting the dangerous plans of Team Aqua. Why? Because Team Aqua is a grave threat to us all. They have committed many destructive acts in their bid to enlarge the sea. We, Team Magma, love dry land above all. Team Aqua is our sworn enemy. Maxi, we should give chase to Team Aqua. Yes, yes, we must! We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Aqua will do at Mount Chimney. You should keep an eye out for Team Aqua, too. Don't worry, I will. Farewell! Goodbye, Maxie! I miss you already. I like Maxie. I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. I usually study meteorites in Falarber Town. Then some people from Team Aqua made me guide them to Meteor Falls. They promised me that they would excavate meteorites for me. But I... Team Aqua tricked me. Aw. They took advantage of your passion for research. 
Oh, that meteorite. It will never be mine now. Okay, Sam. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Thank you for headpats. I love headpats. Yay, headpats. What are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? Evil things. Horrible evil things. What's up here? Moonstone! I don't think we have anything to use that on. I really like the music in here. Um, I don't remember if there's any reason to go down these. I guess we'll go back up and find out. Nope. All right. So we successfully got through. What route are we on? <laughs> and pay attention. Route 115. I need to open up my route list. That's what I forgot. I forgot to open up our route list. Let's see. We do have something to catch on Route 115. All right, so let's see. I actually made a point of saving the uh, the site I found where I can find out what's on the different routes so that we can keep track. I think the only thing we can catch here is a Jigglypuff. Unless we want to try and fish and catch a Magikarp. Um, we still only have the old rod, I think. If we had a good rod or a super rod, I might try going for a Whalmer. But we'll probably just go through here and see if we run into a Jigglypuff. Is that Bolt? Yes! It is Bolt! Hi, Romeo. Yes, Bolt has become a majestic Manectric. And we can actually put Bolt back in the front now. There we go. Because we no longer need to avoid any Pokemon spawns. Oh, we might not actually be able to, uh... We might not be able to catch anything here. I forgot. I don't think there's any grass here. <laughs> How am I? I am doing well. How are you doing, Romeo? Just in time, we just kind of started. Kind of. So I thought we were gonna uh, go through that area and then, like, be in Lava Ridge Town. I think we have to do Meteor Falls first. You're sweating at work? Oh no. I'll definitely make sure that you are drinking plenty and that you are taking plenty of breaks. This probably has fighting types. Bolt is just electric, right? Yes. So we'll, we'll probably be fine. We can... Bolt can do this fight. My strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead. Ha! Huh, sounds familiar! <laughs> Water is on standby? Good. Sounds like this friend would get along with Keijo. Look at her. Look at Majestic Bolt. She's so beautiful. Easy. Easy. I think there's another fight over here. And a hidden item. Where? Is it up here? No? Where is it? Where? I will go one spot at a time if I have to. 
Got it. All right. Success. Hello. Beach is my secret training spot. Don't come butting in. But what if I want to? But what if I like the beach too? Can you teach me how to hover like that, Cindy? Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> we keep trying to get these battle girls to teach us how to fly. They just hover in the air. They know the secrets. Makahita. That will be fine. Bolt can handle Makahita. Bolt's finally getting to do some fights and have some fun. Cindy hasn't trained enough. Someday we're gonna have a secret base. It's gonna be amazing. Pokemaniac. Right? Pretty sure this is a Pokemaniac. Um. I have a rare Pokemon. Would you like me to show you? Yes. Did that is that even a question? Of course I want you to show me. Why wouldn't I want to see a rare Pokemon? Zangoose. Well, that's less exciting than I was hoping for. I suppose we should think it's pretty cool, though, because Zangoose isn't available on our version. We have Saviper. Easy. You want my Pokemon, don't you? Actually, I do like Zangoose a lot. But actually, though, I do. I do like Zangoose. So, <laughs> I do. Uh... Hmm. Do we really want to jump down there? Are we going to have to go all the way back up if we jump down there? Or is it time for us to go take the boat? How do we get to Lava Ridge? Don't we have to go through Mount Chimney? So are we supposed to go back? I mean, I guess it wouldn't be hard to go back around if we have to. Let's go back. I think we have to go back. listen to more of the pretty music. Someday we'll come back with Surf and Waterfall. Is it time? Is it time to go fight Team Aqua for the first time? Like, for the real first time? I didn't realize this was, like, so soon. But it seems like it. I forgot Cumulus was in the front. We should have Bolt in the front. There. Because then Bolt can get a little extra XP while we run through. Why? Okay. Keep going. We gotta go back. We gotta stop Team Aqua. They're doing bad things. Hi, Def! Too true! How are you? Hope you're doing good. We're going to thwart Tweet Team Aqua. We're on our way. We gotta go back. They stole... Um... They stole a meteor. We gotta go stop them. 
We met Maxi. Oh, and we're poisoned. Let's just fix that. Where's my antidotes? Running around with poison is dangerous. Okay. Why are we running into so many Grimers? So, yes, time to do this thing. Time to thing do. How many Orin Berries do we have? Seven? Actually, isn't the, uh... Isn't the trees we need to gather from down here? Maybe we'll do that. So caught up in your work you didn't see the time passing? That's a good thing, though, right? Ah, uh, yes. We can finally get the trees that we keep forgetting. There we go. All right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Gather the berries. I always liked when I was busy enough at work, like, in a good way. That time just kind of flew by. I liked that. Oh. Ah, we can leave Bolt as is. Anything in here? Nope. Can't run in buildings. Cable car is ready to go up. Would you like to be on it? Yes. Yes, I would like to be on the cable car. Enjoy the view. It's time. I want leftovers. Yep, it's time. Befool! Busha! Hose them down. If they expand the sea, there will be less habitats for Pokemon and people. I mean, yes. But there will also be more for the water ones. You're both wrong. <laughs> but I like Maxi better. Stop Team Magma and expand the sea! Busha! Busha! Oh, Meza, please, you must stop Team Aqua for me. They're trying to make this volcano inactive by using the stolen meteorite's power. In Ruby version, you team up with Team Aqua, and Maxi is trying to make the volcano erupt. It's basically just the opposite between games. The annoying Team Magwin, they always mess with our plans. Pshaw. Stay out of our way, okay? We're trying to enlarge the sea for the good of everybody. No. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Team Aqua wants to expand the sea. How's that for insane? Uh, you're not much better, my friend. Team Aqua outnumbers us. We can't keep up with them. Let's go. Okay, so these are the ones we have to fight. They're probably gonna have water types. Um, but they're Carvanas, and I think... Hold on, I gotta check. Because this game has the types classified as special or physical based on their type. Uh, electric is special, so we'll be fine. Bolt can be used on Carvanas. Easy. We of Team Aqua are working hard for everyone's sake. Like, if there's more water around, water Pokémon will be happy, and it'll give people more fun places to swim. Okay, but what if we can't swim? What if, like, I'm aquaphobic and terrified of water? What if, what then? I don't like water. <laughs> Trying to learn roar. Uh, no. It's good on paper. Yeah, I mean, like, 
As long as they're reasonable about it, it's good on paper. I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy more places to swim, as long as, you know, it was clean, safe water, you know? I'm sure a lot of people would, but <laughs> it's, it's kind of not good for the environment. It would mess everything up. Ecosystems are very delicate. You've come all the way here, but you're too late. I've already delivered the meteorite from Meteor Falls to the boss. I'm not too late. I'm never too late. I'm right on time. Matt. Get used to seeing Matt. I'm always right on time. I, after all, am the hero and main character of this story. So. It hurt my butt. Electric attacks are special. But electric attacks are special. You're Gen 3. You haven't divided out between physical and special for actual moves yet. I'm pretty sure it hasn't anyway. Maybe I need to double check. Sure glad I never took you on back at Meteor Falls. Yeah, ground Pokemon would definitely be harmed a lot. Hold on, let me, let me, let me see, let me... Yeah, it doesn't say special or physical on any of them yet. I'm pretty sure Generation 3 just still classifies by type rather than whether or not they actually make contact. Hold on. Now I need to make sure. Gen 3, special versus physical. Let's just make sure. Yeah. See? It's still divided by types. Not whether or not they actually make contact. So, <laughs> that's, that's cheap. That's cheap that I got hit by rough skin. Electric is a special type games cheating. Alright. Let's go. The power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will stop. Foo foo foo. Eventually, the cooled down crater will fill with rainwater, giving water Pokemon a place to live. Okay, but what about all the other Pokemon that already live here? You again. Now listen, all life depends on the sea. The sea is everything. Its importance is paramount. That is why we of Team Aqua are committed to expanding the sea. Doing so will result in the emergence of new Pokemon species. Actually, it probably will, but also, you'll be killing off a lot of other species that are already here. We will return the world back to nature for the good of Pokemon. Ah, uh, that is Team Aqua's vision. I can't allow an ignorant child like you to get in our way. I, Archie, will show you the consequences of meddling. My friend, I think you need to reconsider. You're, you're not thinking of the negative impact that will come with what you're doing. I wanted a Poochietta. I wanted one. I'm so sad that we couldn't get a Poochietta. Wanted to have a mighty Anna and name it Boof. Boofer. I wanted a glorious Boofer. 
They would have come to the Elite Four with us. Easy. We leveled up preparing for the gym, and I didn't realize that all of this was before the gym. So we're, uh... We're a little bit over-prepared. <laughs> this is fine. You know what? We're the hero. We're supposed to trounce the bad guys anyway. This is fine. What? I, Archie, was caught off guard? Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Ah, whatever. I will give up our plans for Mount Chimney for the time being. But no one can ever stop us. Team Aqua will prevail. Don't you ever forget that. Yeah, sure, sure, Archie. Sure, sure. Meza, thank you. You're welcome, Maxi. With your help, we thwarted Team Aqua's destructive plan. But, dot, dot, dot. This victory doesn't mean the end of their evil plans. Oh, no. They, he said he was going to go do something else instead, so... We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Aqua. Meza, we shall meet again. Okay. Oh. Bye. Bye, Maxi. Miss you. I'll see you next time. Okay. I'll take that meteorite. Yes. Obtained the meteorite. We can give it back to Professor Cosmo now. I don't think there's any hidden items here. But we'll check just in case. Wants to go swimming in the lava. But that's probably a bad idea. Okay. Now we can go this way. This was where we needed to go. Okay, so we know there's a hidden item over there already. Jagged Pass. I think... Yes, we get to catch something here. Let's see... What is on Jagged Pass? What are we looking at? Is there something that we want to try and get here? Uh, looks like... We are going to either find a Machop or a Spoink. I actually think it would be pretty cool to get a Spoink. I would really like a Spoink. Actually, though. I hope we get a Spoink. Because I want a Grumpig. Can we, like... There isn't anywhere else we could go before this and get a Machop, right? No, I don't think there is. Because the only other place... Maybe Route 111, I think we can still catch something on. And I don't think there's much hops there. Um... Yeah, nope. We would have to use a repel here. And try to catch a much hop somewhere else first. And come back here. Which, I mean... Let's see. Let's see. Let's just look. Let's see. Locations. 112 Fiery Path and Jagged Pass. So... Nope. We unfortunately cannot do anything to guarantee a spoink. We just have to hope. Good luck, us. Hopefully we can get a spoink, because I want a Grumpig. I want a Grumpig. That's a double. We already have a double. Really? There. The item over here. Yes, okay. Got it! Easy. 
Misty. I want a spoink! I think we need to go down this side. Where's my bike? Okay, so how did we do jumping? Like this? Yes. Looks like we're gonna still need the bike. Spoink! Spoink! Yes! Let's go! Spoink! Oh, I'm psyched! I love Grumpig! Yes! 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 This is acceptable! That's okay, we, we have lots of Pokeballs. We copied our stat changes, which were nothing. Keijo! You're just in time! Tuturu! Hello! We got a Spoink! I'm so excited! We get to catch a Spoink! I'm super thrilled. I'm excited to have a Grumpig! I want a Grumpig! I need Grumpig in my party! Oh, you're fine. You are literally just in time. It is perfect timing. Let's go! Spoink! Yes! I'm so excited. Spoink keeps a pearl on top of its head. The pearl functions to amplify this Pokémon's psychokinetic powers. It is therefore on a constant search for a bigger pearl. Spoink also likes shiny things. Give a nickname to Spoink. Yes! Welcome home, Keijo! I hope training was good. Okay, it's nickname time. It's time for nicknames, quick! We need an amazing nickname for Grumpig. Needs amazing nickname for Grumpig. I gotta get the sprite ready. Oh, I'm so excited. Curly? That is a good nickname. I do like that. Poyon Pig? Poyon? Is that the is that the name is that the noise that a pig makes? Poyon? Yes! Oh, we're calling it Poyon. That's what we're calling it. That's what its name is going to be. I want to name it Poyon. <laughs> because that's what we do in this channel. We name things after the sound that they make. <laughs> that's what we do here. It is appropriate. It is appropriate. The jumpiest of boys, yes. In our case, the jumpiest of girls. We got we got a little girl spoink. We have a precious princess. Boing boing, yes. Yes. Spoink! <laughs> I am so excited. I am happy. I love, I love Spoink. I love Grumpig. I am thrilled. There we go. All right, hold on. We gotta get our precious little Spoink down here. There we go. Precious, precious, precious. Into the folder. I'm gonna put them down where they belong. Here we go. All right. We're going to get them in our party soon. <laughs> soon. Because I adore Grumpig. We will be using Spoink. <laughs> she go jump real high. Yep. Poyon. Yes. Okay. 
Yes! Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so ready! Wait, I have to jump down the stones! Stop! You are in the way of me accessing Poyon. My precious little dumpling. Out of my way! <laughs> Burn heal. Is there anything over here? No. Bum, 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 bum. We don't have to go down these. <laughs> we can just jump. Wait, I gotta get off the... <gasps> Wait! Can we... We could use the bike to go back up! Can't we? Oh, we're gonna be able to go back down the other paths we didn't use. This place isn't your casual hike. It's not suited for a picnic. Then why are you here? Aren't you a picnicker? Yeah, you're a picnicker. Why are you here? <laughs> we already jumping? We are! We're so ready! I need Poyon in my party! These picnickers are in my way. I have to finish exploring here, though. I have to get the items and beat the trainers. Oddish. Yes, we will, we will switch. We'll get Cumulus in here. There we go. Swablu. Back to Bolt. <laughs> yes. I'm so excited for Grumpig! Oh, I have to plan out our learn sets! I have to level them! I'm so excited! The ground is too bumpy. You shouldn't be here! You're a picnicker! Leave! Boing, 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 Oh my gosh. Why wouldn't we jump everywhere? Jumping. Go! There we go. Okay. We jump in. We gotta go down the other path. We picked the best bike, clearly. Okay, that is a hiker. Mount Chimney's Jagged Pass. Now this is what I've always wanted in a mountain. This jagged bumpiness, it rocks my soul. Are you sure you're not a rocker? Guitarist? Hiker Eric with a ball toy. I think we mega drain this. I'm pretty sure ball toy is part psychic or ghost or something. So I don't think fighting type moves work on them. <laughs> Change Pokemon. Oh, well, we could. We could use uh we could use Phoenix instead. We could use Bite on it. Crunchy ball toy. Eat the top. Nom nom nom. Losing left me bitter. Aw. Sorry, friend. I forgot to check for hidden items. Okay, it's okay. It's down here anyway. Over there. Alright. We gotta do the hippie hops again. Great ball! Excellent. Okay, now we gotta go back up. Do thing. There we go. Jump, 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 jump. Too much fun. This is why we chose the acro bike. <sighs> oh, I forgot. There we go. Better. Ba -ba. Do thing. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. Do the big jumps. 
Now we can go this way. Jagged Pass is hard to walk on. It's a good place for training. As long as you don't twist your ankle. Just be careful. Camper Ethan. With a zigzagoon. My zigzam's better. Mine is a majestic linoon. Halo. Easy. So excited. I'm gonna have a grum pig. It was all over while we were still trying to find a good footing. Aw. It's okay, you tried hard. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. We probably got everything. We get off the bike now. Before we accidentally ride somewhere that we don't want to. Alright. Save! Save our majestic grum pig. Future grum pig. Can I fight you? No. I'd like to go get to Mauville, but if I went down these ledges, it'd be no easy matter to get back to Lava Ridge. Yeah, you're probably right. But there's an item over here. <gasps> no! Oh, I used the zoomy button and went too fast! Eh. I'm gonna do it again! Okay. No hidden items. A nugget! All that for money! It's okay, we have a zoomy button. Zoomed up bouncing noises are kind of fun. <laughs> We're here! We did it! Okay, let's sell some stuff first. Because the Pokemart's right here. Let's sell some stuff. Sell. Let's clear out some inventory. Yes, sell the nuggets. And sell the Carbos. Yes. Okay. We haven't been talking to the people in the stores. remember if anybody gives us anything in the stores. Do oh, this is where we get the egg. You like hot springs. That's surprising for one as young as you do. What? Everyone can like hot springs. Have you an egg? I'd hope to hatch it by covering it in hot sand by the hot springs. But that doesn't seem to be enough. I've heard it would be best if it were kept together with Pokemon and carried about. You're a trainer, yes? And your Pokemon radiate vitality. So what say you? Will you take this egg? Yes. You have too many Pokemon. There's no room for this egg. Oh. Uh-oh. A Pokemon bit him. Okay, hold on. We gotta do... Do make room thing. Move Pokemon. Okay, so... Number one... I want Poyo. Who do we switch them with? I mean, I guess we can switch them with... Bolt, because Bolt is already leveled up. Place them here. And then we need to take somebody out of our party to get the egg. So... Let's take out... Cumulus to get the egg. You have the egg. Yes, give the egg. Give, 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 give. All right. <laughs> we got the egg! We did it. We have the egg. I th think this is a Togepi. I'm pretty sure it's usually just a Togepi. I'm pretty sure nobody gives us uh, anything here. But I always like to check. Now 
now we can go to the hot springs. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes! We draw as much hot water as we need, and yet the hot springs never run dry. Isn't it magical? These hot springs appear near active volcanoes. Veins of water under the ground are heated by magma to well up as hot springs. They're claiming that these hot springs are good for calming nervous tension, relieving aching muscles, solving romantic problems, and attracting money. That's a- uh, this is quite the hot spring. If people put Pokémon in hot springs, it might be seriously strange. Why, it might be an electric bath, or a bubble bath, or even a lava bath. Isn't there a hidden item in here? Yes. Ice heal. Appropriate. I always thought it was really neat that you could go and hang out in the hot springs. It doesn't do anything, but it's kind of neat. Bathe in the hot springs every day. I want to become a beautiful and strong gym leader like Flannery. I think one of these is Wally's house? Maybe? I don't remember. Come to look at a herbal medicine in Lava Ridge? That's rather commendable. I like you. Take this. Yes! The charcoal! Yes! Give. Give to Zoomerupt. There we go. Very nice. Also, we need to, like, move these up. Because these are for healing status stuff. There we go. And burn heal. There we go. Do you want to give me something too? Herbal medicine works impressively well, but your Pokémon will dislike you for it. It must be horribly bitter. Yeah, we're not buying any. Okay, must be, uh... Oh wait, that's right, we saw Wally's family in the other town. That's right. My wife's warming an egg in the hot springs. This is what she told me. She left two Pokémon with the daycare, and they discovered that egg. Yep. We won't be getting any eggs from the daycare. So basically, the only thing we have to do in this town is that gym. But, uh, it is very hot today. And it's actually already getting pretty hot in the room. So this was our goal for today. Our goal for today was just to get here. To Lava Ridge Town. So, we will save. Here we go. Um, I might level Poyon off stream since it's just one Pokemon to level and, you know, not multiple and we're heading into the weekend here. So I might level Poyon by myself and then we can bring them into the gym with us. But that will be it for today because it is too hot to do a very long stream. Let's see who is live that we can go ahead and raid instead. Let me make sure... Okay. Always have to make sure that <laughs> my volume is not on so that you don't all get blasted with the noises of another stream. Yes, it is very hot, so... Unfortunately, when it is this hot, I have to be very careful. Um, because I, I actually have a weak heart. So, this heat is not safe for me. <laughs> but, we had a nice short stream, because I, I wanted to see everyone. So, at least we got to play for a little bit. <laughs> and thanks for coming. Grab the raid message, I've got our raid target. And I will see you all probably on Monday. So have a great weekend. Bye-bye, everyone. Doo-doo-doo.